up y'all and welcome back to another one before we get into today's video uh, and today's video is a very important one. Y'all have been wanting an update on old Frederick and his hip dysplasia. And uh, y'all are just really wanting my plan on what I'm going to do with him, how I'm going to attack it. We're going to get into it in one second. But before that, I want to give a huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this here video. Y'all are always asking how old Bob keeps that beard nice and trimmed up. Right here. Also, I don't only just, it's just not only the beard, but read the inside of this. Hold on. It's a whole new balls game. <laughs> this bad boy comes completely charged right out of the package. Uh huh. And it is a mighty little powerhouse. Let me tell you, a ton of power in this bad boy. It's extremely packable for the travels. And let me tell you, it doesn't matter if it's the beard, the chest, any hairy situation that all of us men have, it'll get the job done. Not only does it come with the old buzzer, but it comes with charge cord, USB charge cord that is, a 110 plug, and this sweet little charging stand. Also, it comes with two guards, a, a uh, 10 to 13 millimeter guard and a three to six millimeter guard. I've heard a lot of good things about this bad boy. Let's get in the bathroom and give it a go. Mm -hmm. I've never really filmed in the bathroom before. Here we go. This is uh, the three to six millimeter guard. Ooh, wow. That is beauty. Oh boy. That bad boy gets the job done. That is a true lawnmower, let me tell you. So guys, if you guys have been looking for the best buzzer you've ever had, try it out. Pick up a Manscaped, use code BOBBYGUY. Yes, this right here, all caps to save yourself 20% at checkout and free shipping. Do not miss this offer. Uh, this code is only good for all of my subscribers. So go get it while you can. Manscaped will be linked at the top of the description down below. Again, huge shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Don't wait, y'all. Pick yours up today. Well, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a Fred update without Fred actually being with us. Uh, it's Father's Day weekend, so we're headed over to get Frederick uh, for Father's Day weekend. Today's Friday. Uh, I miss him a bunch. You miss him, Mom? We all miss him. We miss him a ton. We're ready to so, see him. The kids. They're ready to go uh, get Frederick. You guys ready to get Frederick? Yeah! <laughs> that was, great reaction, that was not planned. Uh, yeah, they've been wanting Fred back home. Uh, so Fred has been at the trainer. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the whole story at the end. This whole video is about Fred. I'm gonna stop talking here, but he's at the trainer and that's where we're gonna go pick him up. Oh, dude, are you ready to get Frederick? We get to take him home all weekend for Father's Day. I know I'm excited. You excited, Mom? Yeah, you're excited. Never uh -huh. been more ready. Is that your Freddy dance? Yep. <laughs> Just warning you, it's gonna get loud with a lot of dogs barking. We're at Charlie's Kennel. Uh, this is Sand Hill Retrievers, my buddy Charlie, where we did all the training videos last year. A lot of y'all have been asking about training videos. Me and Charlie did like five or six of them last year. Look them up. I think we're gonna do some more with Fred. Oh, look, how happy. oh look! Oh, he's like my family. He is. Look at him. He's Thank happy. You, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! What's happening out here? Oh, hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh. Oh, hi there, puppies. Hi there, puppies. Hi there, puppies. Hi there. Hi there, puppies. Hi there. You sit down, big dog. You heal. Oh, you look good. You, Char Charlie's got him looking real nice. You look good, buddy. You look real good. The little Ricky dog. He's ready. I haven't seen him this excited in a dog's age. Load up. Oh, he already knows. Look, the door was barely open, sis, and he said, I'm getting in there. <laughs> oh, look at all these dogs. Look how happy Jackson is. 
I have not seen him trot around. Look how happy he is. So before we get into it here and I get to explain in the situation and everything, uh, Jax, Jax, you just seen him. A lot of you, a lot of you have seen him for a lot of years. And he is now 12 years old. And it seems like every week, month that goes by, my wife is like, man, Bob, he ain't looking too good. Or he's limping a little more. Look how excited Jax is. You see that? He kind of perked right up. Yeah. You thought he was like hurting, hurting the yeah, other day. I like, I dreamed that he... I think it's depressed that Fred's has. gone, man. Could be, yeah. I, see, it literally look shows face. Like, oh, look, he's running. Yeah, look, he's running around. You would have thought two or three days ago, you would have thought that he was like in really bad health. Wouldn't like, move around. Look at his tail. He's standing that. up. That's crazy. Brothers. <laughs> That's brotherly love right there. Look at the back of that ear. Sit. Sit. Fred here. Right here. Ooh, heel. Yeah. Heel. Sit. Good. Oh, does that feel good, Freddy? Yeah. Always oh, happy to be home, I'll tell you what. Um, so the plan on Frederick. A lot of you guys have been asking. First of all, I want to hit on one thing. A lot of you guys have uh messaged me uh within the last uh I don't know, the last year for sure. Nah in the last, yeah, last six months, put it that way, asking, hey, my dog has a limp. Do you think it is hip dysplasia? Now, yes, Fred has hip dysplasia. So, I'm gonna go back. Back when he was originally uh, limping, it wasn't due to the hip dysplasia. Honestly, since that injury has healed and went away, um, he jumped off the back of a high trailer and caught his, caught his rear legs and ended up tearing or stretching something in his rear, left rear. So uh, probably in his joint there and a hamstring, something. And uh, when that happened, he limped for how long, babe? Probably. Probably six weeks. Yeah, like. If oh, not well. longer than that. Yes, I use Dawn dish soap. It is perfectly okay for pets. Actually, we're gonna do that first and then finish with the old oatmeal. Mm -hmm. But um, when that happened, let me get going here. He was limping and it got worse and worse and worse. We started guiding in November and the boys were like, Bob, he's so bad, you need to go get him x-rayed. We went and got him x-rayed. They didn't see anything but hip dysplasia. Now hip dysplasia is where the joint is not round. It's more like your fist and it's real squared off and it, it grinds in there. It basically just grinds in there. Long story short, they discovered it. So right off the bat, I thought that's why he was limping. He was very oblong, really uncomfortable a lot of times. He limped when he when he ran, he, he limped when, what is that? But he limped when he ran, he limped when he walked. Uh, when he laid down, he looked really uncomfortable with his legs to the side and uh, automatically wrote it off as hip dysplasia. He healed up from the injury that I knew he did to himself. Hasn't had a sign for, shoot, I bet you it's been since December. So, what I'm saying, he does have hip dysplasia, but it's not affecting him. It really isn't right now. One day it might. Uh, as you guys obviously know, he's been at the trainer, and he's been there for, what, the last month? A little over a month. So, in that amount of time, uh, Charlie has said, dude, I haven't, seen him, uh, I haven't seen him limp at all. I don't see any issues. He's doing really well, and you need to hunt him. And I had already made my mind up that this year he's gonna hunt a lot because we're running two groups with the guide service a lot. Uh, probably November through December and I need Fred's help. I'm gonna have my own spread and Gerald will have his own spread. So I need my buddy's help, I really do. So um, my thought is let him enjoy his life. He's only two and a half right now and what he enjoys most is hunting, obviously. Uh, I, I believe that. Old Frederick will be on his deathbed still wanting to hunt. You know what I mean, honestly. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. If there becomes a day where, uh, you know, he's limping too bad or where the uh, hip dysplasia is really showing face, then we might have to stop. But, but right now, hold on buddy, don't shake yet. But right now, he's gonna be my right hand man again. It ain't going to be like last year where he missed, I don't know how many, 
How many days did Freddie stay at home with you when I went hunting? A lot. I mean, months, months, I don't know. Yeah, he, I bet you he missed. A lot of days. He missed 90%, 85% of the hunts last year. Yeah. Ain't gonna happen this year. Ain't gonna happen, is it, boy? So, that's my plan, I'm sticking to it. As far as uh, K-State goes, y'all remember that I've been here for a while. I wanted to get him in K-State University. They have an awesome program that can, uh, oh yeah, that felt good. That can uh, do surgery for hip dysplasia and I really haven't got in contact with him. I, I put a big feeler out, my veterinarian got a hold of him and I haven't heard anything. So right now, this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, he's just a puppy dog. He's just a good boy. He is. <laughs> What? That's the chicken. <laughs> Who is that? It's it's Park Ranger and he's a girl. Park Ranger and he's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. What's the other one's name? That was Woody. She's a girl too. Yeah. We have a duck named Mallard and he is a boy. Where and is we he? Have, uh, he's at his nest. Oh. And, and he has a girlfriend and. I don't know what his girlfriend is named. Mallory? Ma his girlfriend is named Mallory? Yeah, we haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, we did it. Woo well, it's the next day in the morning. Man, I just got done driving around, looking around, having my morning drive. And they are cutting the wheat. And old Frederick. I can't tell you enough how happy he is to be home. Look at him. That's a happy dog right there. It's uh, honestly, it, it's really hard for, for me, for him to be at training. If that makes any sense, if I said that right. Um, it's hard. As you all know, last year I didn't get to hunt Fred hardly at all. The only ones that I did do was the ones where I took my son on and honestly as far as guided hunts go i bet you he only did four or five at most guided hunts um i think when he initially got hurt i was so protective of him i didn't want him to get hurt anymore that i was like you know what dude you're just done for a little bit we got uh gerald and his dog i'm like they can do the job and I just became so protective that I didn't do him any good. I really didn't because by December, he was completely healed up, wasn't limping anymore from his injury. So, uh, everything being said, everything I, everything I described, I've just been having an outpouring of you guys. A ton of y'all that are extremely concerned if he's gonna be able to hunt anymore and a lot, a lot of y'all that are having issues with your dogs. Guys, first of all, I'm not an expert at this. This is my first time dealing with it. So it's all new to me and I'm learning. What I can say is um, there's not an exact right answer to everything. Um, what I'm getting at is being a dog owner, being a parent of a child, we all make our own um, mistakes and our own decisions. And I can tell you that I'm not going to make the mistake again of not letting Fred hunt. If it gets to the point where he's uncomfortable enough, we'll pull him off the hunts. But until then, come on. Oh, hi, Soph. Until then, that boy needs to enjoy his life. And that means hunt with his dad. So that's what we're gonna do. A lot of people missed Fred last year as far as the clientele goes. Lots of clients wanted Fred on the hunt, but I thought I just couldn't have him. I thought it was bad for him. I thought it was bad for his hips. And Yes, it's not great for his hips, but at this point, he's two and a half what is, you know? Is just laying around all day in the house better? I honestly don't think so. And last year, I tried to do water hunts only. I was just being picky. I was being particular and I was trying to justify my actions as a parent, as a dog owner. Now, yeah, all that don't matter. All that don't matter. He's a young dog. The energy that Fred carries 
is unreal. He, uh, he's got a ton of drive, and a lot of you know that. A lot of you love watching Fred on the hunts, and I'll tell you, when you get him out there, he is so hyped up, as much energy as he has, it automatically shows you how much he enjoys it. So, that's what we gonna do. No, this video wasn't action packed. No, this video wasn't about dog training. If you guys want some dog training videos, let me know, shoot me a comment down below. And number two, I was really wanting to breed Fred. And with his hip dysplasia, there's no way that I can breed Fred and sell the dogs. That would not be cool because Yes, not all of the puppies would have hip dysplasia, but some could. So long story short, I'm not gonna be able to breed them. I still, man, I'm still kicking around the idea of just breeding them, giving away, not selling, some puppies, um, just because I want another Fred. I, it was always my dream to, to breed Fred and have another one and, and breed them out and stuff. But drop a comment down below if you just think it's a completely bad idea even if I was to breed Fred and give the puppies away just to have one myself. It probably is. But subscribe if you haven't. I hope I uh, described everything well enough for you guys. You guys have been really concerned. Thank you so much for being concerned about Fred. Um, he's a good dog. And I hope that y'all are ready for an awesome season. Like I said before, come 4th of July, everybody starts getting the itch. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, it'll probably be around July-ish, July 4th. I'm gonna start uploading once a week uh, the unseen hunts from Preston's filming with the big camera, yada yada. We did it last year, I had some hunts that y'all hadn't seen and you guys loved it. So, be looking out for that. They will be coming once a week and I'm gonna go out back and do a foul Friday right now. It's not gonna go up on a Friday, but it's gonna go up. <laughs> y'all have been wanting the foul Fridays back, so we're gonna do them. Thank y'all for being here. Smash that notification button right down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. And again, thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this here video. Be sure to head down to the description. Hit the Manscaped link. Go pick you one up. Use code BobbyGuy to save yourself 20% off and free shipping. But until next time. <laughs> oh, he's just a puppet dog. He's just a good boy. He is. <laughs>